Developers across the UK are using Building with Nature to create a new generation of development that's better for people and for wildlife. At Church Road in Cornwall, Coastline Housing are using Building with Nature to take a holistic approach to designing a small-scale housing scheme. So we've got 33 homes in total, um, got a mixture of sort of one-bed flats up until these are four-bed properties. Um, we've got two adaptive plots as well. The development includes public open space and links to an existing natural woodland bordering the site. Coastline Housing use the Building with Nature standards which focus on key themes around well-being of water and wildlife to help them deliver high quality green infrastructure and put nature at the heart of their development. They worked with Building with Nature assessor Jenny Stewart to apply the standards to their design. Manningham Woods uh, is adjacent to the Church Road site and that's a really popular local woodland with a lot of public access to it. The schemes made quite a lot of reference to Manningham Woods both in terms of accessibility so there's pathways from the estate into Manningham Woods and there's also a buffer strip that runs along the edge of the site where it borders the woods and that area is going to be landscaped with wildflower rich meadow and also a dry swale which will contribute to sustainable drainage so you sort of got a mixture there of the water aspect the wildlife aspect by providing a buffer to the woodland and also well-being in providing an opportunity for people to enjoy the woods and to see the link between the woods and the estate. We've got a pathway down to the side um, which links the entire scheme. We've got little crossover points and things like that to take people through into the woods. We've also got ecology zones and that's something that we looked at doing and worked quite closely with Jenny to figure out ways that ecology could, could work its way through to the woods naturally. There's a good amount of open space for, for such a small project, so it'll be really good to know that there's places that people can come, you know, whether it's just to sort of quietly contemplate nature and, you know, get a bit of fresh air and sunshine outside or, to, you know, to, to actually engage in some play. Obviously, this site has been constrained by pre-existing outline planning applications which Coastline inherited from the previous developer of the land um, but they've incorporated sustainable urban drainage by having permeable paving which links to soakaways underground and although the site's constrained they've still got an above ground suds feature which will be a dry swale. The design of the scheme ensures the green infrastructure functions as a connected and multifunctional network. Although on a small scale, the development will make a positive contribution to the local nature recovery strategy. I just like how the scheme feels. We don't often get to use the sort of materials and things that we've used here. I think it's credit to everyone that sort of worked on the project. Once we finally get the accreditation and stuff, it just kind of goes to the scheme and shows how much work's been thought about and how much has gone into it, which is um, really exciting. Church Road illustrates how high quality green infrastructure can be incorporated into a small scale housing development, demonstrating how, even in an area of low land value, developers can still create better places by building with nature.